So what is happening with the Resident Evil franchise? Apparently leaker Dos Golem, who in the past has leaked games like Resident Evil 8, Silent Hill 2 Remake, and the most recent Silent Hill A Short Message, has stated that Capcom has five games in development at the moment. So let's go through them. The first one being Resident Evil 9, an obvious one, which is one of the games that Golem mentioned. He also mentioned that the game was going to be open world but there's still more information we need on that so yeah there are gonna be spoilers so if you haven't played any of the games i'm about to talk about then you may wanna okay so ethan's story is now done so let's get that out of the way chris and mia are in a chopper with baby rose and they're standing over a bsaa agent who is supposedly a bioweapon there are unanswered questions pertaining to this like how did this agent become a bioweapon are the BSAA shady now? My thoughts about this are if you've ever seen the Avengers where Nick Fury is secretly creating phase two, which is basically using an alien power source to create weapons, basically fighting fire with fire. So maybe the BSAA has realized that it cannot stop the threat of bioweapons, but then has resorted to bioweapons to instead control it. That's my theory anyway. However, is the story going to continue from when they were in the chopper or from the 15 slash 16 year time skip? We know that Chris is still active. Ethan's daughter Rose literally says at the end, I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. But the problem is this means new characters. Chris and Leon are going to be in their 60s. The most they doing is a mental role from Hawaii. They done with this mess. Or are they? Okay, so back to the other four games. My first guesses are, and I'll say why in a sec, is Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica. Yes, Resident Evil had a remake back in 2002, but it seems like what Capcom's trying to do is rewrite and revive. They want all their games remade with the RE engine, probably for consistency. But I mean, who can blame them? They look good and they play good. Both of them do. So an independent developer called Brins Croft was developing fan-made games of Resident Evil 1 and Code Veronica in the style of Capcom's current remakes. He himself confirmed that he used 90% of existing assets from their games, such as 3D models, animations and textures. He even released a Code Veronica demo back in June 2021 and planned to put out a more substantial one in 2023. However, in 2022, Capcom sent not one, but two cease and desist emails telling him to shut the project down. One nice and one not so nice. I think Capcom's reasoning was it was looking a little too official. Prof said at the time they had no intention of doing these remakes, but I feel like if Capcom wants us to know something, they'll tell us or it'll leak. Not only that, but please take this with a pinch of salt. But apparently we may get Resident Evil 1 remake first. This banner supposedly leaked and then was taken down. And as you can see, the release date is January 17th, 2025. If this is true, I'm super excited. Resident Evil 1 was like really good. I'll talk about the remake. Like, I mean, obviously the classic is good, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, so my next guess is Resident Evil Revelations 3, the last of the Resident Evil action games. It's been a hot minute since the last game. Now the last game took place during Resident Evil 6 because at the end, Claire is informed that Chris is in China, which is most of the saying in that game. But that doesn't really matter because the next game could be a prequel or a sequel. A while ago, yet another leaker was saying that Revelations 3 may not even be called Revelations 3, but it's kind of under the guise of Resident Evil outrage. And I hope not, cause that low key sounds like a different kind of game. Like, what's that game? Operation Raccoon C. My last guess is, who knows? It could either be Resident Evil 0 or Resident Evil Outbreak, or an entirely different game. But what do you think though? Do you have like another guess that I didn't say? Talk to me in the comments and I guess I'll see you in the next one.